wild action at the Flying U Rodeo today as a Japanese film crew stops by. That story tops your ADTV webcast for Tuesday, October 9th, 2012. I'm your host, Laura Vandermeer. Well, TV host Chang Kawai was in Marysville today shooting footage for a show that's going to be airing on Nippon TV. The title roughly translates to Go to the Ends of the Earth. Chan and three brave cowboys from Flying U Rodeo took a spin on the Toro Totter, which was featured in the movie Jackass 2. The trick is to ride the Toro Totter as a bull runs underneath without getting hurt. We're told that in Japan, this sort of footage is fun for the whole family. The episode airs in Japan on November 25th. Be careful! Thanks, Chan, and you can pick up a copy of The 80 tomorrow to read that story from Nancy Pasternak, who talked to the TV host this morning. Well, the California Highway Patrol reported an accident online this afternoon, described as a big rig versus a bicyclist. It happened along Live Oak Boulevard and Highway 99. We're working to confirm information, and we'll have more in tomorrow's paper. And within the past hour, a different crash was reported, this time in Yuba City. The two-car accident was reported at Forbes and Clark Avenues. Two people were seen being taken to a hospital. Well, opening Friday at Gallery 34 in Marysville is The Fisherman and His Wife. The show is being produced by Breakaway Theater. Director Dan Salamone explains the storyline. The Fisherman and His Wife, and it's about uh, a poor fisherman and his poor wife who live in a filthy rundown shack and the uh, the husband wants to do everything he can for his wife the wife wants more and you'll see as the plot goes on that she's not satisfied exactly with what she has the fisherman goes out and he catches a magic flounder and the magic flounder can grant wishes so, it's a real, real happy, happy play, and it's family-oriented. That play is adapted from the original Brothers Grimm story. The updated version is set in the South. It runs Fridays and Saturdays at 6.30 p.m. and Sundays at 1 p.m. Tickets are $5. And every Wednesday in the Appeal Democrat, we feature a pet in need of a good home. This week, it's Tuffy. He's a male sable dachshund mix who's about two years old. He is up to date with all of his vaccinations, including rabies, and seems to be house trained. Tuffy gets along with other dogs and is good on a leash. He is very sweet and will probably get along with cats. If you would like to make Tuffy a part of your family, please visit the Sutter Animal Services Shelter on 2nd Street in Yuba City or give him a call at 822-7375. And the November election is less than a month away and the AD Newsroom is working on previews of the races happening here in Yuba Sutter. Let's continue with the Yuba City City Council race. We chatted recently with Cash Gill. What as a city council member would you see as the way to help boosting Yuba City's economy, bringing back some of that economic development? You know, that's a very good question, Ben. The backbone, the small engine that I was called for businesses is small business. Mm -hmm. Small business is the one that creates jobs. And any time you have a small business that's going to hire anywhere from one to five employees, all of a sudden you're beginning to put people you know, back to work. And if you're able to, as a small business, have incentives either from, from taxes, uh, payroll taxes, quarterly taxes, some of that kind of stuff, workman's comp, those are the types of small little issues or small little uh, incentives that's going to bring back businesses to work. The other thing that we do have in Yuba City is we do have the infrastructure built within the area. We've got properties that are zoned commercial in case that businesses do want to come to relocate in Yuba City. We're ready, willing, and able to do, do that. That entire interview is posted to AppealDemocrat.com along with video Q&As with the challengers. And that's your ADTV webcast for Tuesday, October 9th, 2012. For updates on these stories and more, go to AppealDemocrat.com or pick up a copy of the AD, your Yuba Center news leader, at your favorite newsstand.